Okay everyone, you're wondering what this video is all about, right? Well, this is sort of like a little something special. Since I need something to put so that way you guys can be entertained while we wait for more Final Fantasy XV. This game you're seeing here is Drive, Drive, Drive. It's a game I got my hands on today and it was made with the Unity Engine. By Choice Publishing. Zombie. Yeah, that's pretty much how it is, who are they made. Yeah, so what you're seeing today is drive, drive, drive. And there isn't much to do other than training mode. I guess I don't mind that. Yeah, this video is just a little showcase of what the game is all about. And I figure why not? Everybody's stupid apart from you. All races take place over one lap. And after one lap, the track disintegrates. You gotta learn how to race your car. My oh my, such a beaut. This is amazing. Hold R2 to accelerate. Alright. Keep accelerating. You have to hold the button to boost and boost is in the minute supply. And this is reminding me of Burnout. I like that. And then you have to hold the L2 button to break. Okay, it feels like Burnout. I like that, honestly. I gotta admit, this is actually pretty fun. And then you have to use L2 and R2 and steer to a corner to drift. Alright. Okay, I seem to get it now. Okay, didn't expect that. Now comes lesson two. Let's try with more than one track. You can only race one at a time. The computer drives the others for you. Now it's introducing the idea of multiple tracks, like one down there and one up here. Okay, now this is getting my attention. Okay, hold or tap the switch button. Time has been frozen. Using the left stick or up and down to select a different track to race. I see, you're upside down. You can actually choose. That's not bad. But I wonder if there's any difference compared to the two. Okay, do a quick track switch. Now you're getting my attention. I mean, come on. Buzz off. Wow. Now the controls. We get an idea of how the controls work. Training complete. And now it's race. I guess this is what you're looking forward to, right? And there's actually a campaign mode, which is pretty nice. And they also have a free race. So let's just get a look at the campaign mode for the time.
And there are two tracks, so we need to mix it up. Let's go! Out of my way! Make that three tracks! Whoa! That's cool. That is cool. Alright, let's switch up. Let's see if we'll do any better here. I swear, the AI needs to do a lot better than this. Sometimes you get first, most times you don't. So basically, more positions mean you gotta micromanage. Next up is number five, Baby in the Corner. This one's a time trial. And I'll take Phobos. I'm gonna admit, this is actually pretty fun. I love this. It's really intense. You have to race your finish line as fast as you can. Challenge yourself to beat your best ghost times, which means it's also a test of speed skill. There's one track, thankfully, because that's all we need. Let's go. Four? You're serious. Four tracks? Wasn't what I had in mind! Good thing you could just quickly restart just in case. And sometimes the area around you is just that. Okay. Yeah, you gotta watch out if you're up against ro like ro no road. That was a long amount of drift. Nice. Got the trophy drift kit. I already got like four trophies in like one instance. In just one session, I get four trophies. That's cool. Oh my god, no. Okay, not bad. And we also unlocked the Blindius Complex, as well as a Team Blayusiar. Let's check it out. Let's check out the next world. Next one is... It's actually fun. Really admit it. It's just that the graphics have a psychedelic feel. It feels like out of this world. And it's just so amazing. And yeah, I have to give props to the people behind it who give us this code. Let's go. And I can't even install the Overwatch update. Overwatch updates take like a lot of time. Okay, drifting. Nice. Very good. Wow, that's a huge jump. And now they're adding like rain bits. Or it could be because of the rain in the environment. That's really awesome. Okay, head up. I gotta check on the others. And let's smash our way through. And we get the trophy, Drassive Myth. Or in this case, Massive Drift. Not bad. I gotta step it up. And we also get the next ride, Retro Beast. Now, Loop Coil, Moda's Collection. Let's see if the new ride we get is better than the other. But it does do well in smashing. But this one is also balanced. It has a lot more speed. But the acceleration and handling need a bit of improvement. A 
collect as many crystals as you can. The first card to get a crystal if you collect it. That's one of your you or one of your idiotic, idiotic friends that's in the bag. You'll find clusters of crystals spread all across the tracks. And sometimes they, the tracks can range from up to two to four. And you gotta micromanage it too. Yeah, there's ice! Nice. Let's go and loop the loop. Okay, we got pool the pool. So that's six trophies now in one day. But I wish the AI could be a bit better. Than that. Let's do it. Another round of loop the loop. No, must be because of a nice planet. That's pretty awesome. Lids hit full throttle, boys. Yeah, smash this. Now we go a loop the loop. Okie dokie, got enough boost. Yeah, buzz off. Wow, the AI can sometimes be unpredictable there. This is all cool. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Getting crashed just does not help.
Nice, we got the trophy Scork Crew. Or is it Corkscrew? Here comes the jump! Wow. No, seriously, just wow. I literally like, oh my god, that was cool. Part of me said it's cool. Another part says, what were you thinking? Ikaza! And it tripped it! Okay, that was something. That was cool. Okay, second place isn't that bad. Hit it! Full throttle! Not bad. Not bad. And we also unlock a new ride. Lunar Spirit. And now the last one. White Loops. And yes, before you begin, you can choose any difficulty you want. That's cool. Okay. For time trials like these, that's what I want. This is amazing. These developers behind the game really nailed it. And I'm not gonna have to hit it. Yeah. Yeah, and I have to rely on unorthodox ways to get. Oh, great. Yeah, you gotta keep safe on the road. If you go any fast, and then you'll get you get sent flying off. Okay, they all finished at the same time. Not bad. That went well. And now we unlock Andromedus Glow Third. Looks like a human head. Yeah, it does look like a human skull. And we also unlock Teen Cerebra X. So let's check out this world. Besides, I'm only going to limit it to like about 25, 30 minutes. So that way you guys can get a feel of what this game is. This game is just too psychedelically awesome. I love it. No, I need one that has a lot of smashing. So I'll stick with Retro Beast for now. This is just too psychedelically awesome. This is beyond a level of psychedelic I've ever seen. This is incredible. This is breathtaking. And this is from my own feelings right here. Push it! Out of my way, goofwads! And they even added boxes. Traditional movie driving cliche. No, I like that. I like that, honestly. Having boxes in there. Okay, that's just, that's just cool. Okay, I'm about to fall off. I don't like this, so I'll hit the brakes. No, 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 no! Oh, that stunk. That stunk. Let's reboot. That did not go well for either of us. Let's go! Bashing, bashing, bashing. Well, I mean, yeah, there's the boxes. Yeah, you can't have a drive scene without boxes. It's just true. Right. Oh, my God. Psychedelically. How about I throw you off instead? Yeah! Well, that ended pretty badly for us. Okay, not bad. We did a lot of smashing. That made up for it. 
Next up on the track is Glow Sticks. This one's got three tracks. I mean it, this is just too good. And I can't even say it enough how psychedelically awesome it is. The vibrant colors, all that pink, gives it off this feel. It's just that enjoyable. But it makes you curious how you have to handle not one, not two, but three different tracks at the same time. That's a weird thing. Instead of having to do like one lap three times, you gotta do the same track, one lap, three separate tries. And it is weird to say the least because I never had this experience before. Never in my life have I played a video game like this and it is awesome. And I want to make sure I get the word out about this game as much as I can. Come on. Come on. And I gotta bash them all. That was sweet. I loved it. Very nice. And we also unlock Crowbar Moon. That is cool. Next up, Jumbotron. You gotta do this under 100 seconds. I mean, 100 seconds just for this? Oh, good lord, this is perfect. I'm keeping this ride. Okay, it still has this psychedelic goodness. But I'm also noticing as well, you start like one track on one side, and you have the other. This is kind of weird, but I kind of like that. It makes racing more fast paced and intense. And. Okay, that was cool. Hit it! Booyah! I'm loving this. Nice. Got the gold on that one. That was brilliant. And now we have the next one. Right turns. I mean it. This is just too good. I'm loving this. I could say so many good things about it. And the fact you can press, like, if things go wrong, you just press one button, you automatically restart quick. I love it so much. And now we got three tracks. Yeah, three tracks. I think it also makes it a bit more fast-paced. Makes it a fast-paced game. And I like games that are fast-paced and quick. Because you jump in, you pick up and play easily. It can take a little while to master, but if you know what you're doing, you'll be able to persevere it. It makes it awesome, too. I love that. I truly do love that. Three hundred. Not bad. Let's check on how the others are. Out of my way. I'm not going to be able to make it. Nah, I didn't. Target not reached. We didn't make the target. I think personally you should just stick to one track. And you can't miss a single one.
Hey, buzz off. Wow, no wonder I'm doing so bad. Yeah, I'm actually doing real bad, no wonder. Yeah, no wonder I did so poor in this. I hate it when they take those stuff in. Come on, I gotta move it. Oh, that can send him flying. Yep, this one's a toughie right there. I can't believe I'm doing that badly.
Good. All right, next step. Duplicate and position it. You have a scenery. There's like a lot of scenery right there. This is just auto refresh. This is just too good. Look at that. That is beautiful. And then after that, you can add more scenery to it. You have to complete all races. You have to finish one loop of each track. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, you have to at least complete one track. And this is just pretty straightforward. This can be pretty intriguing. But remember, the possibilities are endless. So you have, like, various different ways on how you can go about it. But remember, like I said, the possibilities are endless. That's what makes it good. Yeah. Here I come. Wow, these guys really get their butts kicked that badly. Come a loop the loop. That's what the track creator does. You have the option of creating it. I'd like to thank the people at Different Cloth and the others behind this. Gave me a really good experience. So yeah, this is just a showcase to show off what this game's about. I recommend getting this if you get a chance. It's worth the $20 purchase. I mean that. And right now it's like on a, like a sale. They'd be around like $16. It's a good choice of game. I like it. I enjoy it. That's pretty much it. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys next time. And tomorrow I will be resuming Final Fantasy 15. But I also want to do more of these showcases to show off some games to hopefully convince you guys to get your hands on it. Alright, that's it. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out.